Crafty Caboodle. Let's get crafty today. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be testing out this paint pour canvas art kit. These are everywhere right now. I got this one at Target. Price is right here. Oh, and look at there, it's by Crayola. So apparently everything is included in this kit. We've got a guide, three mini canvases, mixing cups, acrylic paints, glitter paint, sticks, and gloves. All right, here is the back side of it. Let's go ahead and open this up. So of course, a very detailed guide shows you step one through six on how to do this. We've got six colors, black, fuchsia, blue, green, yellow, and red. Underneath, we have the sticks. We have the cups on this side, the glitter paint, and of course, three canvases. So they are fairly small. They look bigger on the picture. And this kit provides some gloves. All right, so we're gonna take our cups. Now we're gonna lay out six of them. And we have six of these paints plus the white. I'll have to find a cup for that one. We're gonna break the seal. So twist it and there's a little puncher right here. And we are gonna go ahead and squeeze out all of the paint in each tube, which is kind of sad because I kind of wanted to use these over and over again, but this is a one-time deal here. All right, you guys, last one is this bright yellow. Okay, now we're gonna take some water and I've got this little dopper and it tells me two tablespoons. So we need to add water, two tablespoons of water in each paint. Now they provide us with sticks. So let's go ahead, we need six of these because we don't want to be mixing up the colors. And what you're going to do is you're just going to combine the water and the paint together. Make sure there are no lumps and just make sure they're well combined. All right, I don't know. This seems a little bit thick for pouring, acrylic pouring. I'm going to add just one more tablespoon of water and maybe another one. Okay, so I would actually add four tablespoons of water. I mean, you could follow the instructions, but this is just what I'm gonna do. All right, last one. Now it tells us to pour in this silver glittery color paint. So this is what it looks like. It tells us to add one tablespoon of this, but I'm going to skip that step. All right, you guys, I actually found this in my office. It's acrylic gloss. I am gonna be using this instead of the egg satin. Okay, so the guide gives us three techniques. This is the quick start technique. You just pour all of the colors in the cup and then you put it on your canvas. Here's another one right here. This is the advanced technique. It's the square pours where you pour each color in the middle and you keep on going. I think you do it in squares. And then you tilt the canvas. It creates a really cool effect. Here's the advanced technique. You do the dot pours and then you just kind of tilt it again. So we're actually gonna try all three of those. We're gonna start out by putting on our gloves. There we go. Okay, go ahead and find something that your canvas can sit on top of. I've got this beaker from a different kit. You can also use a cup. Um, and then put your canvas right on top of it. Okay, so the first one I'm gonna do is kind of the square technique. Um, I don't even know. We're just gonna start in the middle right here with one color. And I wish this was a little bit thinner. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use this white acrylic gloss. Whoa, okay, that's really uh, glossy and very runny. But that's just kind of what I wanna go for too. I'm just gonna put some all over the place. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and just tilt it and see what we can come up with. I really like that white though. It's um, 
it's runny and that's kind of what we are trying to go for. The paint in the middle is, I don't know. We're just gonna do kind of like swirls. Maybe if we put it down like this, it'll start going in one direction. Let's just see what we can come up with, you guys. And make sure to not touch the actual canvas right there. I mean, you can go, you could do the sides, but all right, this is what we have so far. And like I said, I wish the paint was a little bit more runny. Okay, so I think I'm just gonna leave it just like that. I really like the wavy effects that my white paint that's not from this kit is giving this. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this one to dry. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna add so much more water in these paints. Okay, so I added a lot of water in here. I would say about six tablespoons, and this is the consistency of it. It actually drips down from the stick, and that's exactly what you want. Okay, let's go ahead and put our second canvas on. And next technique is the advanced technique. Ooh, um, this one's called the dot effect. So we're just gonna do a bunch of dots. And that's about it. So this is what it looks like. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tip this. Whoa, okay. This is what you want. You want it to actually go down. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh. And you have to quickly rotate it. Make sure you're covering your surface area though, you guys. This can get really messy. I actually like this one. This one's turning out. This one actually is beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna let this one dry too. Okay, my gloves are just a disaster. All right, let's go with canvas number three. For this technique, this is actually the starter technique. You just put all of the paint colors in the cup and then you turn the cup over, so. I guess we are gonna go ahead and do that. And they say to use that glitter silver one, but I'm gonna use white actually. So I'm gonna start with my white. I'm just gonna pour that in. And then I'm gonna go this beautiful turquoise. Oh, I love this one. It's like a fuchsia or it's a purple. That one in, I'm gonna go back in with the white and then I'm gonna do a pop of yellow. See if we can do another turquoise in there. Maybe not, this is what it looks like so far. Should we do a blue? Let's just do a blue and a little bit of the black and then do a white again. Okay, you guys, are you all ready? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this upside down on the canvas, ready? One, two, three, go. I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up. <gasps> Whoa, look at how awesome. Oh my goodness. Maybe we should just let it do its thing, but I think I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit. <gasps> okay, this is just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let me go this way. I don't wanna ruin that white right there, which looks amazing, amazing. And just go around and around. I wish I had more yellow in here. I think that would have really made it pop. So cool. I know I took my gloves off already, but I just wanna add some white to this. Maybe just like dots of white. <laughs> Seriously, you can do whatever you want with these. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just mix these up in with the colors. And maybe a little bit of this fuchsia. All right, you guys, I think I'm done with this one. I'm gonna let this one dry too. All right, you guys, these are kind of dry, but they are wet in some areas where there's thicker paint. I really like how some of these turned out. I don't know about this one because the paint was way too thick for it to pour from these sides, 
but the rest, I really like the results. Now, honestly, you don't have to buy a kit. You could actually do this at home. Just buy canvases, acrylic paint, and I'm really liking this acrylic gloss. All right, if you guys wanna see more acrylic pouring, um, I could do a big canvas. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys wanna see more of these. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, bye.